Hello my friends and welcome back to Fallout Tactics. Now, I did my little bit of research because I couldn't quite remember what stats I needed for various things. And one thing that I'm going to build towards, let's cancel this for now, is 60 Doctor. Because 60 Doctor gives you the living anatomy perk, which is uh, an amazing perk. I think you also have to be level 6 off the top of my head. And yeah, I've un I've unlocked the loner perk. I don't know whether I'm going to 100% take it or not, but I should be able to take it when I level up enough. Which just makes you 10% better if you're on your own, so kind of like the opposite of team player. But it's very useful for just your main character because uh, EXP is, well, I've mentioned this before, but EXP is divided amongst the members of your party. So it can make sense to actually go, when you get the jeep, to go off on your own and do some random encounters and stuff for some EXP. I've got to train up Stitch's barter as well because he's going to be my barter dude as I said before. But first things first, let's unlock the next mission. At ease, warrior. It's time to test your abilities, initiate. We have reports of a large gathering of bandits in one of their main camps. This gives us an opportunity to cripple future activities without having to hunt them down. We will no longer tolerate their presence in our region. We have received further intelligence that the camp possesses some kind of device acquired from the new menace. Our scribes would very much like the opportunity to study this device and see what they can piece together. Your objectives are twofold on this mission. Your first objective is to retrieve the device. Your second objective is to eliminate all trace of bandits in the region. It is time the inhabitants of the wasteland learn that there is only one power in this region. The taking of raider prisoners is not authorized. Do you understand, Initiate? I want their bones bleaching in the wasteland sun! Failure is not an option. Dismissed. All right, you don't have to sound so friggin' desperate, Jesus. Right, so one thing that I did want to do before we did the next mission was I just wanted to get enough EXP to get Stitch to level 4. Because that is going to allow me to start getting him the barter skills and setting him up to be the guy that you bring out when you go back to base. To do all my bartering for me. I think he is probably like the most charismatic character you get for a long time. You can also increase his charisma to seven by by uh, mutating gifted onto him and then adding uh, adding gain charisma. You can get him up to seven. Which is reasonable. Yeah, so I mean, it makes sense to level up Stitch so I can actually sell all my stuff. But there's actually, thinking about it, there's actually nothing to buy yet, so. Well, there's nothing that I would want to buy. So I think we're probably fine. Warrior. It's time to test. It's so weird that they they play the the mission briefing again, in spite of the fact that uh, you have to do the mission briefing to actually get the mission to unlock. I remember this map. This is a really busy map. Tiles suck. Apparently. What's in the fridge? Hit the deck! Am 
Wow, he got severely wounded. <sighs> I really hate splash weapons. Wow, look at these boys. They're all 95% chance to hit. What if you burst them? How? Well, that was dumb. Yes, some things about this game are questionable. Okay, one left. There he is. Man, look at my chance to hit is actually really decent now. What? Okay. No shot. Mm, let's not go out into the open with her. Okay, this guy's got a handgun. What? What is going on now? Why has everything suddenly gone really crazy? She's not even... <sighs> okay. Wow, I just missed a 95 there as well. Okay, I have no clue as to why I suddenly started hitting my own dudes like crazy with sniper rifles. That's something that usually happens with burst weapons, not with, uh, not with normal weapons. Uh, I do have a fair fair amount of medical supplies, so it's not going to be the greatest issue, but still. I think the med kit has just got five uses, no matter how much health you heal with it. Which is kind of irritating. Okay, I'm not going to use a med kit on 10 HP, seems a bit extreme. Game over, try again. Some of the graffiti is quite interesting. I sort of vaguely remember this game having a mini-map or, uh, I don't know. Kind of weird to me that it doesn't. Twenty percent sneak. Truly the sneakiest. Yes, yeah, so a sixty doctor gets you the living anatomy perk, which increases your doctor by ten percent, which is not a great deal. But what it does also do is it increases your damage by five. 
by a flat five against all targets. Which is actually huge. You think that most weapons are rolling, say, between, between 10 and 20. A flat extra five damage is very nice. I mean, five extra damage is the difference between the hunting rifle and the shotgun. Although I think the shotgun also has some special rules. Did I check them both? My memory is not really that good at the moment because uh, I've been slightly unwell but I really did just want to sit down and play so... There's a dude... There's a dude with a handgun. I can't remember if leveling up actually has a... an impact on your, uh... Oops. An impact on your accuracy. He can't see that far. See? Even though he has great gun skill, his perception means that he can't actually see that far. Such a weird... Well, I wouldn't say it's a, you know, it's not a weird issue, but it's an issue. Maybe he'll be so bold as to come a little bit closer. Oh, he's running for the alarm. Keep firing. 38% is reasonable. You can see how perception really makes such a huge difference. I mean, old Brian here has uh, well it's more than my 96 anyway but I can't open this window right now. He has a hundred and seventeen chance to hit. And he can't He's only got a ninety he's only got a nineteen percent chance to hit despite having better small arms skill. Because his perception is only five. I feel like they sort of knew this, and all the early game characters have got appalling perception and charisma, so that you can't train up a character solely for doing, you know, non-combat tasks, and you also can't train up a good sniper. Although, um, Farsight's perception of 8 can be taken to 10. So, she is very usable. Oh, come on, boys. I'm missing a lot of 50-50s here. Alright, he's done. He's done.
Cha-ching! Stitch must be so close to leveling now. Three, seven, four, five. Is it just me, or is he further away? I, I thought he was like only 200 away. Oh, a pot. A pot of gold! Ah, uh, probably a pot of radioactive waste. Waddle, waddle, waddle. It doesn't appear like the alarm went off either, which is weird. Because he definitely ran for it. Now that my accuracy is higher, I'm going to set Overwatch to 66. Let's not shoot until we can see the whites of their eyes. Of course, in the early game, 33% is like a blessing. Moving all your characters at once in this game is... Stressful. Uh, I think you can kill all these guys on the front door, but you still can't get in. That way. Lots of fuel tanks, huh? I suppose we could go and blow that to bits. If I remember correctly, that's the way you get in. I think you can climb in there. Honestly, I don't 100% remember. Okay. Maintain your formation, team. All right. Turns out people on the ground are very weak to being shot. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, but he can't, uh... He can't aim, so that extra AP is useless. I'm gonna presume that this guy's gonna get up now. You know, I'm not frustrated when 30% shots miss, but when like 70 plus ones do, it's really irritating. <laughs> what is going on here? It's like suddenly the friendly fire got turned on. I 
Okay, well that was a horrible turn. <laughs> Shoot him in the nuts. Right in the nodules. No, he's only got eight. You can see where a living anatomy would really help me here. Three damage, four damage, six damage. Imagine an extra plus five on all of those hits. Sneak, there must be someone nearby. This is a long map with a lot of people to kill. Okay, well that's not anything. That's not anything, that's a wall. That's not anything. There's a watchtower there. You cannot sneak. Why not? Dude, you're not going to survive this. Unfortunately, on turn-based mode, the enemy always gets the first shot. <laughs> well, not always, but usually. Uh, just move back slightly. A little bit more. Is it the window? Okay, it's the window. Okay, that was a big fat miss. Let's see if we can pick the guy off on the tower. Oh, Brian's hit. These are not the best shots going on here. Ten AP to heal Brian, so if I start now, he should be healed by next turn. Let's see if I can finish the job here. Come on. There we go. I think this guy only has a shot on Edmund, who currently is enjoying full health. His best full health life. Okay, that did not work. Let's 
still no shot. It's so hard to tell what angle I require to hit this idiot. Because, you know, you'd think that you could shoot from underneath this car, for example. That's not going to be a thing. 85, that'll do. Almost dead. Okay, you might as well just chill out. No shot. Dusty! And I just waddle into the correct path here. Nope. Maybe I need to be standing. I think I maybe need to be standing to take this guy through the window. Still very awkward, but I mean, it's an old game, so. Can't be too. You know, can't be too critical. But I mean, that said, there were games with. Uh, there definitely were games with superior systems. Even in this era. Shot him! Okay, this guy is on his last legs now. Farsight's got a clean shot. Oh! He's on the floor. And if you're on the floor, you're done. Let's get these weapons reloaded. How close are you to leveling, Stitch? 170 EXP required. Ryan's detected. Ryan Unglaus, master of the five fists. This guy's actually got really good sneak, so I don't know what his problem is. Okay, let's uh, carry on cleaning. Let's just avoid being in a total mess this time. Somehow, the one guy that's terrible at sneaking has managed to maintain his sneakiness. Okay, I'll hit the deck next turn. Actually, do I need to hit the deck? I mean, it's just one raider, right? I can just hopefully shoot her down. Wrecked. And turn-based mode ended, which is a sure sign that there are no more in the immediate vicinity. How'd you get there? Do 
God, look at these guys lose the plot over such ridiculously easy terrain. I guess I have to go around. And around and around in the love shack. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, okay. That's enough madness for me. and your motorcycle. Alright team, let's go. I miss all the little dialogues from Fallout 1. This is why I think Fallout 1 was the best Fallout is like, if you clicked on a bed, it would say stuff like, you know, even if you slept on this bed by yourself, you wouldn't be alone. <laughs> I always remember that line. And also when you first leave the vault and it's like, for the first time in your natural life, uh, for the first time in your life, you're seeing natural sunlight for the first time. There was just loads of little touches and bits of dialogue that really set the first Fallout apart from other games in terms of storytelling. You shouldn't, if you've never played it, you shouldn't be put off by the fact that it's an old game. Because truly, you know, it's a highly interactive visual novel, if you will, and highly enjoyable one. That's not just the nostalgia talking. I don't think there's actually any way to get in here. I think I've cleared this whole area for no good reason. Except to kill bandits. Which I guess you could always consider to be a good reason. Give me your stuff. Man, so many AK 47s. And lots of ammo. Almost didn't need to bring ammo along, really. Well, he's down to 60. 68, 69, nice. And obviously I've got another 167 rounds here. Let's go and quickly reload Brian because with fast shot he actually gets through his ammo a little bit quicker. And he can also carry this these AKs because he's pretty He's a pretty robust human being. Man, I genuinely, I don't remember ammo being so, uh, I don't remember ammo being so plentiful either, but, you know, I, I always, like, managed my 45 ammo and my ball ammo to use it up in the early game to try and save my 7.62 for for the, you know, early to mid game. But uh, there's really no shortage of uh, 7.62, so it would seem. Also, weirdly, isn't like Fallout set in the 50s or something? 50s or 60s or something? I'm pretty sure that 7.62 NATO is more modern than Fallout actually would allow for. Am I right in thinking that? I'm pretty sure it's Nate, uh, it's uh, Cold War era ammunition. I think in World War Two people were still using like 308 and uh, whatever the hell Mauser fired. I'm not really that good on historical cartridges apart from British ones. The British cartridges would have been, you know, Winchester Magnum. Uh, 303, 302, 308. There's lots of weird calibers of British ammo that they were experimenting with. Lots of Springfield stuff. 
Right, so... There is a map, isn't there? Yeah. Oh look, you can get through there. A recent assault left the fence here in poor condition. May provide another entry point, provided you can find a way through. Maybe there's just like a drum or something that I have to blow up. They are heavily defended. A frontal assault is not recommended. But dude, you asked me to kill all the bandits. So we're going to have to exterminate them anyway. But I guess the real mission is actually to uh, just kill the bandit leader. Not actually kill the bandits. All the bandits. All of the bandits. All of them. Kill all of the bandits. Security team. I see the most eagle eyed amongst us. Zero. Fourteen. Okay. Somewhat in range. Not quite in range, but. See, this is where awareness is really good. You can tell what they've got. So then you can decide which ones to pick off first. Wait, am I the best shot? Am I actually the best shot? 96 and 9 perception. 116 and 8 perception. Ah, uh, it's, arguab it's arguable, but a uh, higher perception will win out in the end. For sure. Life of Brian. None of these early perks are really worth it, apart from damage resistance. You wouldn't be making a mistake to take damage resistance repeatedly. It can add up to like 30%, and then you can have armor on top. You can make an incredibly spongy character. Um, but there's a perk that prevents or reduces criticals, if I remember correctly, and you need that if you're going to tank damage, because... I'm pretty sure that criticals bypass armor entirely. Uh, which is bad news. Okay, anyway. This is it for now, because we're approaching 40 minutes. But join me next time. We're going to clean out these idiots. Clean out the area. I won't go through the gate. What I'll do is I'll go over here and clean out all of this uh, as well. All of this area. clean out the fuel depot and uh, that's actually a door there and then we'll find our way in so plenty to do it's probably be a very busy mission uh, but we, we're going to rely on uh, basically DMRing our way through all of these bad guys. Okay, yep, nothing else to say. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.